Hey, I'm Matt from Stronger You, and today I want to go through some weird kind of mystery knee pain fixes. So this is really common with, with people you'll see where you, you have like a hamstring quad imbalance, for example, or you've got patellofemoral pain, or however it's been diagnosed, but you've done some rehab, and then just every now and then your knee kind of tweaks out. So this isn't a fix everything, but really common um, kind of fix that I'll use with a lot of my lifters. So I'll see that a lot of people will move in a way that puts a lot of torque at the knee joint, where their tib, uh, their shin bone is going in one direction, and then their femur is not. And that just creates a lot of torsion at the knee joint, which tends to work a little bit better this way, kind of like an elbow. We don't have as much rotation in our knee joint as we do, let's say, our hip joint, right? So going into some common ways we can see this, we want to look at tibial rotation. So really common, we'll see this. You can see the shin bones rotate outwards and inwards, right? And that has a pretty direct impact on the arch of the foot as well. So quite commonly we'll see in a squat, for example, let's say somebody's right knee is giving them issues, right? They feel like just sort of somewhere deep in that knee joint, uh, it gives them problems, right? Could be your left knee, uh, could be your right knee, doesn't matter too much, could be both, right? But you might have done some glute work because you know you need to strengthen this a little bit more to keep your knee out, right? Um, or you've done some hamstring, uh, direct hamstring work to kind of correct that, that imbalance. But if you're not changing the positions you're working in, those muscles can't uh, work properly in the pattern that you're training, so they can't hook up and express their strength as well. So we're gonna go through just some positional changes to help you learn how to use your body a little better um, and hopefully take some of the strain off of your knee joint. So what we'll see in the Squat is we'll see this sort of external rotation in the tip to where they start to lose their footing, and that, that provides a lot of shear against the knee joint because without your knee going way over way over here, which is its own problem altogether, if your knee is trapping over your foot, like you would expect to see in a regular squat, right? If you're here, now that shin bone is really turned out, and you've got to turn your hip in to correct that, right? And so that right away, I can feel that in just the, in the inside of the knee there. It's, it's providing a lot of torsion and, and just stress right across that joint, as opposed to tra transmitting it through the joint to the floor, which is what we want with a lot of your power lifts. So, if you're out here, right, I'm exaggerating just for example sake, and then you correct because you want your knee over your foot, well you can see that my shin bone is pointing that way, and my femur is pointing over my toes. So I end up with this kind of crossed up looking squat where there's a lot of torsion going on here, right? So on top of that, if it's just one side, I'm going to end up with some torsion in my hips where now I'm twisting this way. So if we can fix how you interface with the ground, um, that should help alleviate the knee problems and maybe even correct a hip rotation having a squat. So how do we fix this? In short, we want to get your foot centered on the ground, get your kid centered over your foot, and then get your hip centered over those two. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a band here. So with, you want to do this with the affected side. Um, you can always do it on both, it's not going to hurt, right? And so you're going to set it up so that the band is pulling you inwards, right? Now we'll do this in a split squat, I find it's easiest to learn how to use this if you're, you're doing a single leg pattern, but by all means you can step through that band and use it with both legs, or loop a little mini band around your, your knees and do both legs at the same time. But in terms of learning, I find this is the easiest way to do it in a single leg pattern. So here's what I'm looking for. So I have my band pulling me pretty much right in, it's perpendicular to my foot. So I've got a 90 degree angle at the foot and the knee there. And I'm just gonna keep my hips square, so it's facing straight forward. And then from here, go down into a little lunge, okay? So if I was gonna be in that squat pattern, let's say it was my left knee that was giving me issues because of this, um, I would theoretically probably squat kind of like, like that, right? Where I get my knee up by lifting my toe up and turning my tib Outwards. Instead, what we want to do is we want to teach you how to get internal rotation at your tibia and then create as much hip abduction or external rotation without losing that tip position. So you've got congruency, everything's working together instead of things just going in different directions where it's not strong and at best you're bleeding a lot of power, at worst you're begging for an injury, right? So a little split squat, I'm going to let the band pull me in so that I can feel the whole inside edge of my foot. I've got my arch pretty flat on the ground, my big toe, the ball of my foot, and the inside edge of my heel are all planted nice and flat. You'll see as I go through the movement, 
they never lift off, okay? So, knee falls in, just letting the band do the work. And then from here, keeping that pressure across the inside of my foot, I'm gonna see how much band tension I can get without lifting those toes. So you'll see there's a limit. Pretty much your knee will get over your foot and you can't get it much past that, right? So that's your position you're gonna work. I've got my hips forward, arch planted, knee tracking as far as I can without losing the arch. So from there, I'm gonna go train my squat pattern and just going nice and slow to start, but just getting comfortable feeling that arch push against the ground. Probably lose your balance a little bit starting out with this, but that's fine, you're just adjusting. Go slow enough that you can correct and catch yourself. You don't wanna bomb through super fast because you're probably gonna miss a lot of errors you're making. So, arch flat, knee tracks out, and go down, and up. Keeping most of the weight on this leg. This can be used pretty easily as a warm up, right? You'll get pretty toasty by the end. If you do a few sets of 10 or 20 on these, you'll be good to go. And theoretically, should help a lot with your knee pain, or at least one avenue to explore for it. Let me know if you have any questions. Comment below on things and problems that are ailing you. We're always looking for ways that we can help at Stronger You. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks.